Dr. Lara here. I hope you're doing well today and welcome to another week of Guided Angel Channeling Messages. And I just want to say today uh, Archangel Michael came to me very strongly. So all of these messages are from Archangel Michael. So it feels like this whole message that he is saying today, it's based around making decisions. So it feels like whoever's listening to this, like there's there's some heavy heaviness weighing on you, thinking that you have to make a decision about something. And um, I know that a few sessions back, we were talking about, or the angels were talking about um, taking control of your life. And if you don't take control of your life, then things are going to come up and you're going to have to make a decision because your back is going to be up against the wall because change is happening anyway. And so this is kind of, it's not really an urgency of the message, but it's the main focus of this message is about this decision that feels like it's weighing on your mind. So there's two different um, messages here. So whatever it is that resonates with you, just kind of like listen in and see how it feels in your body. So the first message that he's saying is um, just take your time making this decision. When in doubt, don't. Anytime you doubt something or you're not sure about something, a rule of thumb is to not make a decision right away, okay? When you are faced making a decision, if you have any kind of trepidation or you're wishy-washy, it's, it's not time for you to make your decision. And you know what he's saying is that you've got a little bit of time before you are gonna have your back up against the wall. Like it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. So take your time, really feel into your body, feel into your heart, feel into your soul. What is in the highest and best for me? Ask that question, what is in the highest and best for me? Because oftentimes with making decisions, we take other people into account, which is good, but sometimes we put their needs ahead of ours. And the, the age of martyrdom, that, that's over. <laughs> and it's okay for you to put yourself first in making this decision because ultimately you need to live your life for you and to be happy with your decision because if you make a decision based on someone else's happiness and you kind of acquiesce to that, you're gonna be miserable and then they're gonna be miserable and then it's gonna end up not working out anyway. So if you want to save yourself some time, base your decision on what makes you happy and ask what is for your highest and best good. Okay, so that's the first part of that message. Now the second part of this message is, um, the answer is it's time for you to leave an unhealthy situation. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job that is just not bringing you joy anymore, that's pretty much sucking the life out of you, whether it's maybe um, an unhealthy lifestyle, whatever it is, or a move, it feels like there's a move as well. So, you know, it's time. You don't have to sacrifice yourself anymore for other people. You don't have to live your life to make other people happy. And so this is a direct message to you, and you'll know if you're listening, oh yeah, that they're talking to me, that the answer is it's time for you to leave an unhealthy situation. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, okay, and, and they're show, he's showing me like a present with a bow on it, and he's just saying that the situation's already resolved. Whatever it is that you are in the middle of right now, whatever decision you're trying to make, um, just know that it's already resolved on a, another plane in the future or actually, you know, there is no time. So it already is resolved because it feels like um, you're not able to see any way out of it. It feels like you're not able to see how everybody could be happy, okay? And the thing is with that is that sometimes when we make decisions that are good for us, it is going to upset some other people because you're not showing up the way they want you to. 
okay? So just realize that, you know, it's okay for you to make the decisions that you want to make that are best for you. And if other people get angry with you, then that's their issue, okay? And sometimes when that happens, either they go out of your life and they weren't really good in your life anyway, or they'll come around and they will realize that it really was a good decision. Because whenever we make a decision that's based on our happiness and our highest and best good, even though it looks like it from the beginning that it's gonna hurt other people, ultimately it's for their highest and best good. There's no way that you can make a wrong decision. There's no way that you can make a mistake. And that's another one that he wants to let you know, is that whatever decision that you make, it's the right one. It is the right one. And if you find yourself in a situation because of that situation that you don't like, then you can always make another decision to get out of that. Okay, so there's just learning experiences with all of these decisions that we're making, but the biggest message is to make the decision based on your heart and your soul and ask what is for your highest and best good. And lastly, he's saying that your loved ones are going to be okay. Okay, they're going to live. It is not your job to make sure everybody's happy. It is not your job to make sure their life is smooth. Your job, your number one job, is to make yourself happy, to do what's right for you. Because when you do that, it shows with your energy and who you are and what you do. And that serves as an inspiration for them to do that as well. Okay, it's okay to be a little selfish in this context because ultimately your happiness is the most important thing. And you, you are the most important person in your life. And I know that this may sound uh, uncomfortable for some people, it may sound new to some people, but when you do things that bring you joy, when you find yourself making decisions based on your own happiness, that comes through because you're happy and then you are a different person in that relationship. Because if you make decisions that where you are making decisions for other people, then resentment builds. And then you're not a happy person. And then issues start with these people. And then you get mad at them. And it's just, I hope you understand that. That when you do good for yourself, you do good for others. Okay. So those are the messages for today. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you are interested, I do do sessions. You can go to my website, drlararomero.com and kind of read up a little bit more about what I do, about the healing work that I do with the angels and the all-knowing energy and see if that resonates for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for listening.